What's up, what's up? I uh, wanted to do just a quick video. This will only be actually a couple minutes long. Uh, but I wanted to go over decay uh, and how these ETFs can just decay over time. Um, and I want to do it today just because we have a, a perfect example. Uh, this is just uh, natural gas right here. Uh, so as we know, uh, well, if you follow me, you guys know we were playing uh, natural gas. We saw it push up, get crazy, and then come back down. Uh, but if we look at... Uh, how do we get into this? There's... It's not... If some people say they talk about this decay. They say it's designed to decay. It's and no one. I mean, no need for a tinfoil hat. There's no, you know, special treatment. There's nothing special. Nothing being done behind the scenes. Nothing shady about it. It's simple math. It's right in front of your face. You probably just didn't think about it. I have gone over this a couple times in my streams, uh, but you can see. So we have the underlying uh, asset right here. Uh, this is natural gas. So we had this straight push up, straight push down, right here. Uh, so we're gonna focus just on this move. Uh, let's see why did this not it does not look that dramatic right here um, so D gas has seen a crazy move uh, and that same move we saw in natural gas is this right here so we actually saw it gap down come down um, but actually just to make it better for you guys this will be easier to point out so D gas right here at this point uh, six dollars seven dollars um, because you know D gas is the inverse of natural gas. When this goes up, D gas goes down. So we saw this push up, and D gas is a three times ETF. It is supposed to do three times what the or just any ETF three times ETF is supposed to do three times uh, the performance of the underlying asset, uh, which in this case is D gas natural gas. Uh, so we see it here pushes up six dollars. This drops it all the way down at 1.286, I think was the low. Uh, so just to make math easy, $3. Makes a 50% move this day. Um, so people are getting slaughtered left and right. Um, again, so focus on this, 50% move. Okay. Next day, today, shoots comes right back down. Degas, again, makes a 50% move because it does just what this does. Just three times of it. Here's the decaying part that most people don't think about. This went from $6 to $3. That's 50%. It made a 50% increase, which is no longer $3. It's going off the uh, it's going off the $3 mark, so 50% of that is $1.50. So we saw today, DGAS pushed up to $1.50, so $4.50. And as you can see, if we're just looking at this chart, uh, stocks don't do that because they are valued. It is almost, it's not tangible, but it's, a, it's an actual item. The ETF is a percentage-based performance off the underlying asset. Um, so that's why you don't see stocks decay like this, but you see ETFs. This doesn't decay, it doesn't play that percentage game because we'd just be giving natural gas away for free. Uh, so that's just something to think about when you're on these ETFs. I don't want to encourage uh, averaging down or doubling down at the bottom, but you really have to. If you want to get back even, if you get caught in a mess, uh, it, it's something I've done. I didn't particularly, I didn't lose on this one, but had I made this play, um, had I taken a loss like that, I, you know, one, my I want to be really hesitant when I say this. My position sizes, I, I plan for the worst, so I they're manageable. I don't take crazy losses. Uh, but let's say I rode this one down. If you ride 100 shares down, you need to ride 200 shares back up to break even uh, because it's just, again, it's that percentage game. Uh, still nothing I would encourage. It's still just, that's why it's not smart. It's just better if you want to intraday trade these. Natural gas does move a lot overnight, so I personally, uh, I like to hold that one. I like to see where it's going. I don't want to make this video about that. I just want to point out the decay it has. Um, it's all a percentage game, and you'll see the underlying asset move. You see the ETF move the three times or two times that value, that performance for that day. Uh, so if you happen to catch the uh, the bad side of these, uh, that's again why it's important not to get married to a ticker uh, because it needs to do twice as much work on the recovery just to get back to even. So something to keep in mind: a lot of people are particularly in this degas play uh, went to 280, it came back up to 450. Everybody thinks it's on its way back up to six six dollars. 
or even higher. You guys saw the chart when I pulled it up. Uh, it has taken a beating this whole way down, uh, but it's going to be it's going to take a lot more to recover. Natural gas, if we just keep on this record, natural gas needs to go to like two dollars to get back to that level. Um, so, you know, just like I said, just something to take into consideration. That is the decay. It is it's nothing behind the scenes. It's all a percentage game. Uh, so it's just important to keep that in mind for you guys. Um, you know, I think that's it. That's we had the best example today. Again, it moved fifty percent both days, but we went from six dollars to four fifty because it went fifty percent down, fifty percent back up. But you're starting from a lower value, so keep that in mind. Uh, and again, let's remember to lock in profits. We don't have to get crazy. We don't need to gamble. Uh, just lock it in so you can count it. Uh, until then, I'll see you guys later.